my channel my name is war i am new here and for my first video i wanted to share with you some fall decor ideas i know it's a little bit late for fall videos probably a lot of you guys already decorated their interior for fall but i really wanted to first finish my full fireplace that i was building for the past month and to have it just in time for cozy season if you're interested in seeing how i did this i'm actually gonna share a video about it in the next few days be sure to check it out before we jump into decorating i want to apologize for my english this is not my first language as you can probably tell so i can make a lot of mistakes and my accent and pronunciation are weird sometimes but i promise i'm trying my best all right so let's get started first is gonna be my tv stand area I'm testing a little bit just to get rid of all my cat's hair. She loves to lay down there. Now that it's ready, I'm starting with this white ceramic vase from Target. And I'm going to be adding these beautiful stains that are from Hobby Lobby. I really like these stains for fall. You can see a lot of the bare branches, just like the trees outside. But you also have a pop of color with the yellow and the green on it and I'm using four of them in this vase. Next to my vase, I'm adding two decorative books, the Homebody book and the Minimalista one. On top of that, I'm gonna add this beautiful brown glass pumpkin from Target. They really came with great glass pumpkin this year, they're also stunning. And since the bottom is actually opened, I decided to add a flameless delight in the pumpkin just for the cozy evenings. And last, I'm adding this frame that I got from Target last spring. I love it for both seasons, spring and fall, it's perfect. So this whole area is very white and bright in my apartment. I don't like it as much as I used to. So I'm looking for a piece of furniture that is more organic with wooden tones, I will say. But for now, I can only try to break the whiteness, I will say, of this corner. So I'm adding a brown pillow, brown blanket, brown pumpkin, just brown everything. <laughs> so next, we're moving on to the other side of the TV stand. I started by using this frame from Hobby Lobby. And in front of it, I'm adding this woven tree that I got on Amazon a few months ago, in which I'm gonna place this vase from Target. And then I'm gonna be using these stains from At Home. I actually mixed two different colors, the orange and beige one, so then it wouldn't be too much with just the orange or too pale with just the beige. And in this phase, I'm only using two stems, one of each color. Next, I'm adding this pretty candle that I got from Amazon. It's the lid I got me. I thought it was way too cute. And it's in French, so it totally reminds me of home. And last, I used this tiny little pumpkin from Target again. You can tell I spent way too much time at Target. All right, so we're moving to another part of the living room. We have a very old sofa and I don't like the color. It's a weird dark green mixed with brown, not easy to work with. So I'm just putting very neutral pillows. Guess from where? Target, of course. And then the pumpkin one is from Hobby Lobby. So now the coffee table. I really like the way it looks now that I added the full fireplace. It totally changed the whole vibe of the room. two books that I'm stacking and on top of that I'm placing a wooden bowl filled with some fall potpourri from World Market. Let me tell you, that smells really good. Next I am placing this vase that I got from Hobby Lobby. Ah, you guys, I am obsessed with it. I think this is my favorite piece since I got it and paired with this theme, they were just meant to be. <laughs> good job Hobby Lobby. I'm gonna put this very cute little pumpkin candle from Target 
in the smell pumpkin spice and that smells delicious. the best part the mental I was really excited to finally have one to decor for fall and then Christmas time it's gonna be amazing so first I am placing two frames that I already had on this wall actually to fill the space because it was a big blank wall so I'm just gonna reuse them and instead of having them hanging on the wall I'm going to layer them on the mantel Next, I'm going to use three full stems from Hobby Lobby. I have two different styles. This one, the first one, is very stunning and looks so real, but unfortunately I was only able to find one. Um, I think I waited too long, so it was out of stock both in my store and online, unfortunately. So I am mixing it with another kind that is a little bit lighter, but the two colors blend in very well together, actually. I'm actually going to create the look of a garland. I couldn't find a garland that I really liked and I saw this trick on other videos on YouTube and I thought that was a great idea. fuller I decided to cut some parts down and to use them to fill the gap and I just kept playing with it until I was fully satisfied with the way it looked next I'm adding some pine cones that I got from Hobby Lobby I believe and just to add a little bit of a natural and organic feel to it. So once I'm done, I'm adding some old coasters that I have on hand. Um, just to give some height to the next item so it's not hidden by the leaves which is this really cute ceramic pumpkin from Target and I really like the color and the texture that they gave to it but I think I should have gone for something a little bit bigger to put there but it's okay we're gonna make it work <laughs> and then next to it I'm gonna add this little pumpkin white pumpkin from Hobby Lobby it was actually a pumpkin on a pick I just took the pick out of it and on the other side of the mantel, I'm adding these three candlestick holders that I got from Amazon. It comes in a pack of three and a pack of six, I believe. And I really like how they have this kind of vintage look that is perfect for fall and Christmas time. Last but not least, I got some firewood at Home Depot that I'm gonna be using to give the impression that it could be a real fireplace. <laughs> I'm just gonna chat with it.
I decided to add at the last minute this beautiful stem from Target because the corner seemed a little bit blank to me, like something was missing. And right next to it I also decided to add this really cute pumpkin pillow that I found at Dylan's just for extra coziness next to the fireplace. Et voilà, that's it! Thank you guys for watching i hope you liked it and i'm gonna link down below in the description box all the items i've been using in this video but yeah that's it for today so thank you guys so much for watching and see you next time